Hey, Camp Girl Boss, it's Emily Breedlove, and we are back today with a killer interview with a really good friend of mine. Her name is Deanna Januzzi, and she has been a longtime cheerleader for Camp Girl Boss ever since we first got started. Really excited to talk to her today about staying grounded, which is a big part of being a girl boss and being a leader. So first of all, hey, Deanna, how are you doing? Hey, everyone. It's such an honor to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, and it's a beautiful day out. There's blue skies and no rain. And I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> I know. I know. I am actually really sad that summer is coming to an end. It's been a complicated summer, but a really beautiful one. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, it's a great summer for a lot of introspection and checking in with yourself. Um, sometimes it doesn't feel good, but it's necessary and it's, it's really helpful. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, and so we have had a lot of fun this summer with Camp Girl Boss of celebrating our girl bosses and doing these live streams. So campers, you know the drill. We are coming to you live. So if you have questions, go ahead and add them here, share them on YouTube or in the forums. I'll be checking them. Deanna and I are going to talk about a really big topic. But first, before we dive into that, we want to know a little bit about you, Deanna. You are a girl boss. You're a serial entrepreneur. You wear a lot of hats. So talk to us mm -hmm. about your company, Shine Ohm. So thanks. Uh, Shine Ohm is my yoga company uh, and event planning. I do organization uh, for various types of events from weddings to retreats and everything in between. Um, and ultimately, it's a great platform to help bring mindfulness and um, empowerment to individuals. And I might be going through rebranding soon. So keep an eye out for what is to come uh, because with new times, sometimes comes a fresh look and reinvention of self. And I, I feel like it's about that time. So totally. Well, and we get that. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that we talk about in camp is, mm -hmm. you know, that life is crazy, especially right now. And that being a girl boss means that you're constantly having to be adaptive and, and be creative. And that's perfect because that's what we're talking about today in mm -hmm. staying grounded, right? So this year, we have really had to learn how to navigate uncertainty and new challenges. And so I feel like this topic is even more relevant today. But mm -hmm. so the first question that we have for you is, what does the idea of staying grounded mean to you, Deanna? That's such a great question because it is, um, this is an answer that is unique to every single person because the way um, I stay grounded may look different from the way you stay grounded. And ultimately to me, to stay grounded means I'm checking in with myself. I'm being true to who I am and staying aligned with my creative magic and my spark and being true to how I want to live my life and um, also not letting the energy um, kind of get me, uh, take me uh, and get carried away um, because sometimes it can be really exciting with new projects and building a business or connecting with friends or whatever it is in your life. Um, and so for me, staying grounded also includes making sure that I take that time to check in with myself and have quiet time or extroverted time or whatever it needs, um, whatever I need to stay that, stay in that balance. Well, and so I, I completely agree. I think that that's one of the biggest challenges in being an entrepreneur and being a leader is that you're constantly having to check in with yourself mm -hmm. um, because this work can really swallow you up sometimes. And a lot of people need a lot of things from you. And so really being able to show up means that you just have to have that conversation with yourself of, you know, how am I feeling? What do I need right now? Mm -hmm. What really feels good to me? So the next question is, um, why do you think that this is especially important for, for girl bosses, for women and girls as they're going through this process? That I think is a phenomenal question. Um, well, one, regardless of gender and orientation, whatever it is, everyone, I think it's important for everyone. Um, I also think it's especially important for us women and uh, girl bosses because we are, we tend to be really, really dynamic individuals a lot of the times. And we, we are really good at taking on all different types of problems at once. Um, and so really making sure that we have these tools to have healthy boundaries, to say no when it's 
the right time to say no and to really keep this in check with ourselves, it means that we're able to be more present with other people. It means we're able to be more present with our projects, with our goals and our missions. Um, and it allows us to really be able to give back even more because I know a lot of time, like one with girl boss in general, every single woman that has gone through that I've, that I've observed going through this program has such amazing big ideas. And like, we are all go-getters and we are all ready to like hit the streets running. And that is so important. In addition to that, we need to make sure that when we are hitting the streets, we are showing up in our best self and in our best form. And when I first started um, one of my other companies, I was just going, going, going. I was the sales and marketing and face and like constantly making connections with people. And that's a lot of like energy output. And I had to dedicate a Deanna day where no one, I didn't schedule anything. It was on, it was on the weekend and it was my day to do whatever, whether it meant lay on my couch and eat Oreos or go for a hike in the woods or go see my family, whatever it was that I needed that day specifically to recharge um, was, it was really important. And so making sure that we really find that balance and that's a tool regardless of whether you're talking about business or friendships or life in general or anything like finding balance is so important because that way we can really be true to ourself and show up in our best self. Absolutely. Well, and I completely agree with that. So that's uh, the tip that you gave us was really helpful of, you know, making a Deanna day. Mm -hmm. I think that's so cool. That's definitely something I need to do more of. Um, I know you've got some other tips. So for the next question, yeah. what tips do you have for girl bosses on staying grounded? Mm -hmm. Because ultimately this, this is a daily thing, right? And so having those things on top of mind is really helpful. So what other tips do you have for us? Yeah. And I think you, you mentioned it's a daily thing. So mm -hmm. A, another thing to also add on to that, it's a daily practice because some days it's not going to be easy. <laughs> no. And then some days it's going to, you're just going to feel like you are flowing and you're like, yeah, I got this. And I feel so connected. And so just remembering that it's a practice and that sometimes it's going to ebb and flow. Sometimes it'll be easier. Sometimes it's harder, but that's kind of the beauty of it all. Um, and um, let's see, another tip is connecting to yourself. And so for me, that looks like doing some breath work. It means I'm having time where I can have quiet and really like listen to myself, really listen to what it is I'm needing that day and tuning in to myself. Uh, and we could even do a little breathing exercise. What I like to do is what works for me is I put one hand on my heart and one hand on my belly. And I just quiet myself and breathe. And I notice how my body moves while I'm breathing in. And so as I breathe in, I can feel everything start to rise up. And as I breathe out, I can feel everything start to soften. And just taking a couple minutes or heck, 30 seconds. It doesn't even have to be a full minute of allowing yourself to really connect. And not only are you connecting to yourself, you're connecting, I mean, you're connecting to your body, you're connecting to your breath, and it also slows down your heart rate. It slows down everything so you can just soften in that moment because as we grow, as we move through life, there are going to be challenges and there's going to be unexpected nuances that you're going to be like, what mm -hmm. is this? And it's going to sometimes feel like there's like a cyclone of energy. But no matter how crazy it is out here in the world, we have that opportunity and ability to quiet it and to come back home and to reconnect and to just breathe. And I think that is, for me and for many people, a really, really great tool just to mm -hmm. stop and, and come back to, all right, what is right for me? Is, is this opportunity that's being presented to me? the right opportunity for who I am? And is this the right response to someone that may have aggravated me? Because is that, am I showing up the way I want to show up? 
Mm -hmm. And so it helps us to kind of stop, stop, get out of a reactive mindset because sometimes it's easy. Oh, yeah. Uh, and and come back to a place of who we want to be and who's in alignment. Mm -hmm. Like what's what's in alignment for ourselves. Yes. And um that kind of leads me to my next tip of um how do we know what's in alignment and how do we know like what's right for us and how do we keep that creative spark fueled? And for me, I like to write I write I write it down because and I put it up someplace to make it really visible. That way I can, I can see it, whether it's like a vision board. Um, I actually, and I, I brought it with me. I have a list called let's have fun on a bun. And it's all different items on this list to remind me of what feels really good. Even because sometimes when you're not feeling good and mm -hmm. feeling kind of crazy to remember all these things, it's, it's kind of hard. And yeah. so if I write it down and I look like it says, take a bubble bath, um, make a vision board, practice speaking in accents. Um, lay down we should do that together. That'd be awesome. Oh, it'd be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like you so much right now. <laughs> and, yeah, I like you a lot too. Yes. Um, and so it's, what's really great about this is sometimes when we do get crazy anxiety or crazy, like, energy. Um, if we can return to something that makes us joyful or something that makes us feel true to who we are, like I've got read a book or even FaceTime a friend. Sometimes, you know, just connecting with someone that is really a good person in your life. Um, that helps us to reset. It helps us to get out of this crazy energy and remember, oh, this is the type mm. of person I am. I'm, I'm a, I'm an awesome person. I'm a girl. Yes, absolutely. You know? Um, and then from that list, it helps you also identify my last, my next, we're well, not last, I've got lots, but my <laughs> next tip, <laughs> which is identify who your energy or who or what your energy thieves are. And yes. I say energy thieves because sometimes we can get real excited about something, but is it distracting you from being your best self? And Ultimately, is it taking away your energy where you really could be putting that energy towards something else? And man, there are tons of them out there. Like cell phones, that's a big one. I'm just oh, going to yeah. be real. Like for, for meetings or for can, like uh, work, I need to put my phone in a physically different location because otherwise I find myself just checking it. And then I'm taking so much longer to do a task that mm -hmm. should only take me five minutes. And now it took me 10. Yep. Or um, TV. Sometimes, you know, it's great to watch TV and watch movies, especially if you're doing it with friends and family. But if you're using that to kind of just like just constantly watch because you're bored. Hey, also no shame in that because TV is cool. But if you're identifying that as an energy thief, that's a mm -hmm. different story. And so yep. if you're finding that you're only watching TV and you're only doing these things where you're not actually doing the other things on your fun on a bun list, like mm -hmm. reading a book or getting creative and painting, you know, like it's all about balance. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the big goal of all of this is finding a balance. So that way you can show up for yourself and show up for others in your best version of how you want to live life because life goes so fast and everyone says that, but it's true. It's mm -hmm. real true. And I like to have the compliment of identifying um, my like, you know, fun lists mm -hmm. and goals. Cause it doesn't have to just be fun. It can be things that make you feel the most, the best version of who you are or yes. it can be goals that you want to achieve and goals don't have to be crazy big. They can be small, like I'm going to go for a walk around my block with my dog today. Mm -hmm. You know, it can be as big or small, and even the small ones are big. Um, but I like to pair these lists with energy thieves because when you start to notice things that are taking your energy away and you're like, I'm not going to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Then when you stop doing something, it's, it's really great to be in, like mindful and notice what you're going to replace it with. Yes. So, um, 
I look at that as mindful growth and absolutely really tapping into your creativity. Well, I know, especially right now, you know, because this is something that's, you know, all of you campers, you know, Ella, Ella's my daughter, she's your age. And this is something that we're dealing with now because, you know, at home, we're here, we're here all day. And you guys don't get to see your friends all the time. And you're just sitting at your house all the time. And so like one of Ella's big thieves is Roblox, is that she's online playing her games, because that's where her friends are. And yesterday, she spent hours playing this. She loves it. Right now, it's really her only her social setting. Um, but it's really easy to get swallowed up in those things. And so, you know, one of the things that Ellen and I work on is making sure that she's making time for reading and being creative and being social in a different way, like calling her friends or doing Zoom calls. Mm -hmm. Because especially right now, we are so limited. It can get really frustrating and tiring that you only get to do so many different things each day. But I love that, you know, really setting that intention and making sure that that you have fun things that mm -hmm. you remind yourself of. Yeah. So for the campers, what any other advice do you have around staying grounded, especially now as they're looking at building their empires and creating a better life for themselves? Mm. Great question. Um, I'm going to revisit the idea of it's a practice. And remember just to be kind to yourself because we all slip. It's okay. We're only human. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, human, like as humans do, like we're going to, we're going to try things. We may not succeed at everything we try, but that's okay. Like it doesn't mean you failed. It just yes. means you might need to find another direction or a new angle or just try it again because maybe mm -hmm. that day you were just a little off. And so just being really kind to yourself and remembering that it's all a practice and the sun will rise tomorrow, most hopefully. <laughs> it's been a crazy year. I'm just kidding, kids. Yeah, right. Um, it is 2020. But, it is 2020. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> we just don't know. Right? But yeah. but we also, but no matter what, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And yeah. so being as grounded and connected to who you are today just will make, like, it's, it's preparing you for your for tomorrow. Um, and it's also helping you be more present today. So we can, because even when it's real hard and I'm going to be real, this year has been really so hard, really hard. And like, it's okay to talk about those things too, because we're all feeling it and we're all experiencing it. But like, even on hard days, it makes it a little bit like there's still something to be grateful for. And there's still something that you can kind of say, Hey, you know what? I did this. Like I was able to breathe for five seconds uninterrupted. That in itself is a huge feat. Like seriously, try it tonight. And then mm -hmm. if you do five seconds, try 10 seconds up to 30 seconds to, to a whole minute. Like it's crazy sauce. Um, so just remembering to be kind and that you're not alone and that there's so many resources out there. And I would be happy to be a, re be a resource as well as I love Camp Girl Boss and all the girl bosses. Um, and that, yeah, just stay strong, ladies. And even on days it doesn't feel strong, you're still strong. Absolutely. in your core, you have all the strength you ever need. And I truly believe that. Well, Deanna, thank you so much for coming out today and sharing mm -hmm. this wisdom. Campers, if you have a question that you really want to ask Sienna, you can share it in the forum and I will be sure to mm -hmm. add her in there so she can answer it for you. Mm -hmm. But I, I I just love the enthusiasm that you have for life, Deanna. And we at Camp Girl Boss have always been appreciative of your support. You've been a mentor every year that we've had camp. And we're just excited to see where this program goes and, and are grateful for women like you who support it. So thank you. Oh, thank you very much. I love the program. And I have truly been so in awe of every amazing woman that has gone through the program. So thank you all. For yep. Well, campers, up. we will be back tomorrow with Ariel. So come back to, to YouTube and we've got another great interview coming up and uh, we'll just see you all. Hope you, hopefully you guys can go outside and enjoy this beautiful day and we'll see you back mm -hmm. here tomorrow. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye everyone. everyone.